Um, so this talk is going to be about some extensions that we made at Wikibase. Uh, I'm going to sit for it because I didn't prepare any slides. Uh, so you can see my screen. It's about <laughs> some extensions, some small extensions that we at Wikibase made that are open source that might be interesting to uh, other people. So. Mm. Okay, so the first extension I'm going to be talking about, it's a bit annoying, like the zoom thing is covering my screen, which you can't see on the screen sharing, but uh, I'm fine. Um, so WSO off is an extension that we made for as an, a hook for pluggable off, which allows you to log into using OAuth on wikis. Uh, this is probably the most popular extension that we made. It has, um, 114, 114 downloads uh, every quarter. Um, and it's most useful to allow your wiki to log in using some other instance of MediaWiki. It also supports Facebook um, and you can easily add new OAuth providers. So if we go to the documentation here, um, you have to implement a class and then you can at any OAuth provider that you want. Um, and if you need any support with that, you can just email us and we can provide that support. The next extension I'm going to be talking about is semantic structure discussions. So this is also a very simple extension, like the rest of them. Um, this extension adds semantic annotations to structured discussions topics. So if you create a structured discussion topic or create a reply for it, it automatically adds the, um, the properties that you see there with uh, this is the content for the page. Um, and you can just install it, then add the um, topic namespace to your semantic links and it will work automatically. And we use this, for instance, to show a summary of all the comments that have been placed on pages. Um, but unfortunately, semantic structure, sorry, structure discussions is being phased out. So I'm not sure how long this will be useful, but at least we still use it. Um, so I don't think WikiGuard has a MediaWiki page. Um, but I already talked about WikiGuard in a previous presentation <coughs> at the SMWCon last year in 2022. Um, and we're still not done with it. So <laughs> that's basically all I have to say about it for now. Can you, can you explain in, uh, in a few lines what WikiGuard is about? Yes, uh, WikiGuard allows you to uh, create policies for pages and namespaces and the entire wiki to be able to control who can access or who can do actions on certain pages and it's fairly flexible. Uh, and we do use it already at Wikibase, so it's stable enough, but it's not yet finished. But it's still like not 100% uh, watertight, right? No, because uh, it's really hard to make, um, to make like security extensions for MediaWiki because of the many ways you can access pages and the many things you can do on those pages. And because MediaWiki has never been des des really designed to do that kind of stuff. Um, so I also wanted to talk about WS Stats, which is an extension that Charlie made, um, which basically keeps track of the number of accesses on a page, so the number of page views. I think it also does some other things, but mostly page views. Um, but unlike alternatives like hit counters, uh, you can use the WS stats parser function to query uh, these statistics. So for instance, to get the number of hits for some page with ID 9868, 
you can do this. You can also specify uh, date ranges for between what dates, how many page views you want, or sorry, how many page views have been between these dates or from some kind of start date. Um, yeah, and you can even do, say, I, I only want to count anonymous page views or I want to see the number of anonymous page views or non-anonymous page views. And finally, I wanted to talk about time to notify. <laughs> so this is an extension for Echo, so the Echo notification system, which we needed for a customer of ours because they wanted to uh, push out um, notifications that weren't necessarily based on a specific event. So what time to notify does, it uses the job queue to um, you can specify a condition when a, when a notification should be pushed. For instance, two days before, so for this wiki, we had some kind of expiration date on pages and they wanted a notification for, uh, that the page was about to expire. So it was going to expire in a week or something. But there is no such hook or an event that gets triggered a week before a page expires. So we needed some kind of way to uh, push notifications based on um, a condition. So the condition was, is it now between now and, will the page expire between now and a week? And if that was the case, it push, pushed the notification. Uh, so you can also use this for reminders. So basically um, have a, have a notification be pushed every two weeks or something. Um, and the way it works is uses a job queue and not really the job queue, but um, you can specify a run rate and then each time a page is loaded, it, it, there is a chance that it will check for the notifications to be pushed. Um, so it's similar to how the job queue works in the way that it works on every page load and then it runs a deferred update. So it will first generate all the HTML, push that to the client, and then in the background on the server will generate all the notifications that need to be made. And that way you can specify this condition and not have the notification be based on some kind of event that occurred. Um, and that's basically it for this talk. Uh, are there any questions about these extensions? Yes, Jeffrey. Are these extensions on OpenCSP? Um, I don't think all of them are, but I think WSO off is, and that's, I think that's the only one, but I'm not 100% sure. Is there a reason that none of these other amazing extensions are not on OpenCSP? Because I think it'd be pretty cool to add them, right? Uh, yeah, we could add them, but we try to keep OpenCSP as small as possible, and some of these extensions are fairly specific. Fair enough. So you can Fair just enough. install them if you want, if you need them, but don't install them if you don't need them. Sounds good. Thank you. Good question, uh, Jeffrey. Um, do we have more questions? No, we don't. <coughs> I, I think it's a good idea, Marijn, to uh, to give you five minutes breathing time, but also to explain what you are going to do the next few hours. Well, not it's few, it's about two hours, but okay. <laughs> yeah, together with uh, Scott and Subu, yeah. they are having an, their own presentation, but it's very much linked with your subject. So I propose that you explain what, what uh, the future, the next two hours is going to look like. And then we take a five minute break and then uh, you move on. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, we have one more question from the chat, maybe. Ah, okay. okay. Regarding WS Stats, uh, is it poten potentially a privacy or even security violation for anyone to be able to see where any user or IP address viewed the wiki? Um, so I don't think it keeps track of who viewed the wiki, only it keep, only keeps a counter. So it anonymizes the person that viewed the page.
So there are no more questions? Okay. 